Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's web whiz video number five. Now this week it's a website that I must confess is pretty new to me, but since it was recommended to me by Mr. Don Penny, I've been absolutely all over it. So let's have a look at it and it is called Maths Faculty. So if I just Google this, there it is, mathsfaculty.co.uk, give that a little click and here we go. Now as you can see, it's a website that's been set up by um, a faculty of Hems Hemsworth Arts and Community College. Now for me that's always a good sign, because if it's a maths department that's setting things up themselves, you know it's going to be practical, user friendly and just absolutely useful top quality resources, and that is exactly what this is. Now I'll be honest with you, the year seven and year eight stuff doesn't have great coverage and the post 16 stuff tends to be more kind of schemes of work, but it's the GCSE stuff alone that makes this absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look here. Now, the first thing to notice once this loads up in a second is that this particular faculty st um, do the AQA modular course. Now at my school, um, we're Edexcel linear all the way, but that doesn't stop me using this website because as you know, these boards cover the same thing, so it doesn't matter one board to the other. So let's have a look here, module one, handling data. Now you can choose between foundation or higher, but if I just have a little scroll down here, just to show you how things are laid out, you get all the specification on the left hand side, all the learning objectives. So it's like a scheme of work, but what's so nice about it and it's so simple but so effective is that the resources uh, accompanying each of these um, specifications are just on the right here now you've got p which is your powerpoint you've got w which is your worksheet you've got b which are your blank templates and then uh, and I'm, I'm just kind of guessing these and you've got h which are your, your homeworks so if i just take a couple just for example so if say we're doing pie charts if i just give this pie chart one a bit of a click and i'll just open it just to try and save a little bit of time Time. Now, fingers crossed, here it comes. I'll just move that into the screen. So a dead, dead simple um, PowerPoint um, about drawing pie charts and getting the right angle, nicely animated with uh, protractors and so on. But what's nice about it is that that comes within an accompanying worksheet. So again, if I just give this a little click, and I might need to resize this one. No, there we go. Um, for the students to do once they've um, seen the PowerPoint presentation. Nice bit of classwork for them to do there. And then pretty much every single one also comes with an accompanying homework for the students to have a go at. So drawing pie charts here once they've sat through the lesson, then they can have a go at it at home. So again, there it is there. A nice little homework for them to have a go at. And that's true, that kind of coverage of uh, PowerPoint work uh, worksheets and homeworks is pretty much true of all the topics uh, whether it be all this handling data stuff like we've seen here or whether if we go backwards it, you can have a look at the number algebra shape and space it's all covered all in great depth and it's absolutely fantastic really really good stuff uh, what's also nice and I couldn't believe this when I saw this is that you've got a, an entire set of homework so again if I just go back to this one just because I've downloaded it if I click on the foundation homework book what actually comes up is this thing and it's an entire set of exam questions again hitting all the key objectives that the students can take home for their homework really really good now Again, I'm a massive fan, as you've seen with these, of websites like Wolfram Alpha or Guardian Data Blog or Gapminder, where you've got really fancy, slick resources that you can really use to bring your lessons to life. But those lessons need some solid foundations. And I think websites like this, where you've got your PowerPoints, you've got your worksheets that you can f uh, freely adapt to suit your own class's needs, these are the bedrock of, of solid, good, decent lessons. And if I was planning a lesson from scratch, this would be a good website for me to go on just to get the ball rolling. So that is Maths Faculty, and that is my uh, WebWiz uh, website of the week. If you like it, if you've used it, if you can think of something similar or a different way of using the website, please, please, please hop onto the TES page and share your ideas. That would be fantastic. And I will be back with a brand new, fresh WebWiz, I need a better name for that, uh, website next week. Until then, take care and bye for now.